What's going on, everybody? This is Marcus from Black Mary Dead Free, and I'm bringing you a barber tutorial how to cut your own hair but look like you're leaving the shop. So, right now, I'm going through some of the tools I use a handheld mirror, alcohol, hair grease, purifying shampoo. We're going to move on to the topics hair hold or enhancement hold and the topic enhancement. We use that comb there, a two-sided brush, softer and a more harder bristle. We also will be using a blow dryer, Conair, any blow dryer you have will work. I use wall clippers, so we're starting with the half inch wall guard, the one inch wall guard, the 1.5 wall, and then we're gonna go for the two wall guard, the three, you guys kind of get where we're going with this. The four, and of course a toothbrush to clean our clippers. And this here is a cool comb I use to line my beard. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. And like I said, I use wall, so this is the wall senior. Uh, this is a very affordable clipper and it works very well. It gives you a great barber shop look. Also, I'm using the wall razor's edge. It's a good clipper, kind of intermediate, but it'll definitely get the job done. And a modified Andes liner. This is this 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 will cut you real nice. So this is kind of uh, kind of next level as far as uh, the quality. But hey, we're trying to get that barber look. So sometimes you have to invest in your product. Right now, I have just a basic straight razor that I picked up from Sally's Beauty Supplies, very inexpensive, and the blades also came from Sally's Beauty Supplies. So, we're gonna dig right in. Let's go. So first, what I'm doing, as I showed you earlier, I use a purifying shampoo that really strips your hair because we want, it, we want to get it as dry as possible. That's gonna give us uh, the best blend while we're cutting our hair. So I'm going at it right now, combing it through and blow drying it making sure it is bone dry. That's how we want it. All right, I'm doing the same thing with my beard and my mustache because we want to get the crispiest line that we can and the drier, the scalp, the crispier the line. So I like to go in with my wall trimmer and kind of do my facial Hair because uh, the face is a bit more sensitive and this trimmer doesn't really you know cut as hard but it's really good on facial hair so I like to do that first kind of get that out of the way outlining my mustache and like I said earlier we want to get the barbershop look you know what we do here at Black Mary Dead Free we want to live our best life, but if we can save money, let's do it. You know, and the thing about barbers is, you know, the, the, the barber trade is an amazing trade. I have a number of barber friends, so I definitely recommend going to the barber shop and patronizing uh, that trade. It's an awesome, honorable trade, but sometimes, you know, you just, you don't either have the time to go to the barber shop or you, you just don't have the money. So what I want to do is show you all how you can get a professional look right at home in your own bathroom, just like I'm doing right here in this video. So what I'm doing now, I'm going in with the three inch guard on the wall and I'm going against the grain. And I'm going to go against the grain throughout the hair, the entire head. And the handheld mirror is something that if you're going to be cutting your own hair, you definitely will need. There are self-cut systems that have multiple mirrors. You may want to look into purchasing some of those. But if you don't have any of those mirror sets, self-cut sets, you can do fine with just your bathroom mirror and a handheld mirror. That's, that's what I'm using here. So I'm making sure that I'm cutting it evenly throughout that's gonna be very important is to make sure that you're, you're getting every nook and cranny and getting 
every part of the head the same hair length. That's what I'm doing. And that's kind of why I like to go with a guard and go against the grain because I ensure that I'm getting everything cut down to the same level. every nook and cranny you're definitely going to need a towel once you do this part this is when most of the hair <laughs> begins to fall off the head once you do once you've done that you want to go back over with a brush make sure you brush everything down and now what i'm doing is i'm going down with my 1.5 guard across the the edge or the rim of my hairline um, i like to have my hairline a little bit lower than the rest of my my hair because it brings more definition when you go to line your hair and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about a little bit later on. So I'm going over the rim, the hairline, and I'm just going over it with the 1.5 guard and with the lever down now. When I did the first part on the front of my head, the lever was up. Now the lever's down as I do the back of my neck. You wanna be sure to brush consistently to lay the hairs down now I'm going and I'm doing the same thing but I'm using my one guard just to get it a little bit lower in the front and around the sides getting rid of some of that bulk Going in for the line and these are my Andes modified trimmers um, the modification allows the trimmers to cool because these bad boys do get hot and they get hot quick so with cutting the top off of the trimmer it allows air to circulate a little bit better so I kind of like to start with the edge and understand that the the way I'm cutting and the way you may cut your own hair is totally different from the way you may cut someone else's hair. So keep that in mind. Uh, a lot of the, the principles I do use when it comes to the blending, but as far as the lining and different things, you just have to do what works best for your hair, you know, and that takes time for you to figure it out. But with, for me, lining the hair works. I know what side to, you know, works best to start on. And, and different things like that for you it may be different so once I've done one side I do the same on the other I like to kind of just meet in the middle you want to make sure you're using your mirrors using different mirror angles making sure that the line looks even whichever way you look at it making sure I'm getting the corners there it's always important to comb through the hair to make sure the hair is laying down so you're cutting every hair you intend to now I'm going on my sides and I'm kind of doing the C cup taper on the sides with my wall trimmer because my wall trimmer is a bit more forgiving not quite as harsh just going over it hitting some of the same areas I hit with my Andes now I'm going back over with my Andes just to get a crispy curve on that cup because the Andes do cut a little more with a little more definition all right starting off looking pretty good 
Now I'm going to do the neckline. And I'm going to I'm giving myself just a a taper. So a taper is simply when, you know, you kind of line around the head and you fade the neck area and the sideburn area. And I'm going to be fading from my sideburns into my beard. So I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other side of the neck. And when you're doing more sensitive areas, you want to use a clipper that is a little more sensitive and the neck area is definitely a sensitive area. So that's why I'm not using my Andes. So now I'm setting my guideline and beginning the taper process on the sideburn. So I go in with my bald line and then once I've got that guideline set, I break out my wall trimmer and I go up about a centimeter following the same half circle pattern. Now I'm going to break out my wall senior with the lever closed and I'm going up another centimeter following that same pattern. Now I'm going to open the lever ever so slightly and I'm going to go up another centimeter following that same pattern. That same half circle pattern. Now I'm going to brush the hairs down. Now I'm going to go up ever so slightly. One more centimeter following that same pattern. With this one, I think you're going to be, begin to see a bit of what we've been doing. You're just following a, a simple pattern, but you're going to start to see the blend here in a few, a few moments. Now I'm going to open the guard all the way up, and I'm going to go up probably two centimeters here. Following that same half circle pattern. to see a little more of a blend. We went from the bald skin up to a little bit of a blend and now I'm going in with my one guard closed and I'm going to take it up probably probably two to three centimeters here. You're going to get to see a little bit of that separation, a little bit of that blend, that taper. As you can see, the taper is starting to take form a little bit. So now I'm going to open the guard up and I'm going to go up about another centimeter. At this point, I'm not pressing hard on the hair. I'm kind of just taking off some of that bulk going into the, the dark part of my hair. I'm not pressing hard. I'm kind of just using using the corners of my clipper and just just kind of trying to get some detail in there not trying to dig or press too hard. So now I'm gonna go down to my half guard and I'm gonna get the lines in between the lever open with no guard and the one guard lever closed. So I'm getting that imaginary line that's in between those two lines. Now I put back on my one guard and I'm going with the grain, taking off some of that bulk that I was talking about earlier. And now I'm just kind of trying to clean it up with the one guard and with the, the 1.5 guard, just doing some work and 
getting the detail, getting the blend really nice. Now that I've got the blend on the sideburn how I want it, I'm taking a very similar principle and I'm applying it to the beard because I want the, the beard to fade in. So I want it to fade out of the sideburn and I want to fade into the beard. Now I'm using the same guideline principle on the neck and I'm going in with my bald Andy's trimmer. Set my first guideline in. And now I'm going in, going up about a centimeter with my wall. Trimmer. Once I've done that, I'm going to go with my wall senior clipper with the lever closed, another centimeter up, and then ever so slightly open that guard up a little bit and lift it up another centimeter. Alright, now I'm going to open up the the lever all the way and I'm gonna go up about two centimeters now you're gonna start to see that taper start to take form there on the back of the neck always want to make sure you're brushing the hairs down all right we're getting there now I've gone in with the one guard and I'm going up about two centimeters taking off some of that bulk so now I want to blend the line between the one guard and the lever close no guard or lever open no guard excuse me so now I'm going in with the half guard taking out that imaginary line and I'm following a simple model that many YouTube barbers you know teach a lot of this I learned on YouTube So, I mean, like I said, this is something that everyone can do. As long as you have the correct equipment, you can do this as well. Now I'm just going in, just doing some, some different detail work and trying to clean that up. We're almost there. Now I'm knocking out that bottom line, that imaginary line from my balder, my bald trimmer to the second trimmer. And I think I got it. I think I have my desired desired uh, taper there in the neck. So now I'm going in with a tool that I picked up on Amazon. All of these things I'm using will have descriptions uh, for you to pick them up. This right here is a good tool to help kind of trace your, your beard outline. Sometimes it's hard to do things freehand. So this is a kind of dummy proof tool that I love to use. And I'm just outlining my beard under the neck and around the sides. Now for the enhancement. This is my topic enhancer. It's a, uh, the color is light brown and you want to take a card or a something, a piece of cardboard, something that you can use to shield the spray and you want to spray probably about uh, probably about six inches away and you want to just kind of spray and then you want to always brush it in you can fill in any light spots around your hairline or around your beard line if you have a struggle beard like I like I like to call mine this will definitely add some enhancement and then I go over it with the topics holding spray and I just blow dry that in make sure that dries quickly so once you have put your enhancements in you always want to go over it again with your liners just to make sure you're doing some detail and now I'm going with my straight razor and just cleaning it up a little bit this will help clean up those microscopic hairs and help your line to last longer and to give you that professional look because that's what we all about all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
like I said, what we're trying to do is bring value to you guys and show you how you can get the barbershop look at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, share this video, and let us know in the comments if you want more tutorials just like this one. For Marcus, this is Black Married and Debt Free. Talk to you guys later. Peace.